subscribe for tech talks and hit the bell icon to get notifications about coolest and latest engineering technology in the first place so let us first uh, make the inverter so for inverter we will uh, go to the library and uh, then we will find out simscape in simscape power systems in power system specialized technology in specialized technology power electronics in power electronics we will get many switches i have taken this single igbt this single igbt with diode this one single igbt with diode and then i put it over here and then i have taken six such components and uh, also i have taken one uh, dc voltage source dc voltage source and uh, input pin and this connections so this one i have already taken now we will make the inverter so for inverter we will connect this switches first so this will be connected over here so the switches are connected now we will connect the dc supply we have we put the dc supply voltage as 600 volt and here we have not made any changes whatever is there is there and then we will give the get pulses so i have written it in is switch one the switch one will come over here this is switch three switch switch two will come over here this is switch three now this will be switch four this will be switch 5 and this will be switch 6 now the R phase the R phase will be coming from the midpoint of this leg Y Y phase will be coming from the midpoint of this leg and B phase it will be coming from the midpoint of this leg so in this way you can make an inverter I'm just deleting this one and then you can put it in a section okay it is a system from selection and then you <laughs> and delete what is not required Then a little edit. You can delete this one also. This output parts also. Otherwise, these are not required. Only for seeing the signal, it is required. So it is done so these are the switches where we will give the switch and these are the uh, phases from where we will connect we will just name it as inverter okay now let us move to the next section where we will make the control signals now we will make the control circuit for control circuit we have taken three sine waves uh, one with amplitude one 50 hertz frequency 
the other same thing but the phase angle will be minus 2 pi by 3 it should be shifted by 120 degree and the third one should be 2 pi by 3 then with one sine wave we will do inverse sine and then we will take the absolute value and then we will compare with something that I'm telling you and the other thing that I will do that I will segregate this sine wave into two halves positive half and negative half so for segregating it into positive half cycle and negative half cycle I have taken theta than 0 and lesser than equal to 0 now since I am making 120 degree 150 degree so I will cut angle by 15 degree from each side so here it will be 15 into pi by 180 degree this one I will compare it with the absolute value and then this value I will end with the positive half cycle and the same thing I will do with the negative half cycle also then mm, the result of this end I will convert it to get the get pulse for switch one the same thing i will do for switch four because in from this phase switch one and four will come out okay the same exercise i will repeat for the other phases also so I will just copy it and I will paste it over here so this is my next phase sine wave everything is with according but here switch 3 and 6 should come out it will be switch 3 3 and 6 will come out and this will be compared with the same signal over here Similarly, I will do again for the next phase. This is the third sine wave. The things are according. So, so this will. So this will be switch 2 and this will be so this will be switch 2 and this will be switch 5 upper half leg and lower leg and 
the same thing this will be compared with this value so my six switches are ready so we will make a subsystem from here and I will delete the unwanted things so these are my six switches I will just change the number this I will make it four this switch two switch to I will limit number it as two three as three four is four now this one I will number it as six and five is five so my subsystem now looks like this one so we move on to the next section where we will assemble all parts to get the result. We will assemble all the things and see the result. So this is the inverter that we have made. And this is the control block that we have made. And uh, I have taken a three phase VI measurement here you can change it from face to ground face to face okay I will keep it in face to face okay voltage and current and I have taken one load this load you can change it from resistance inductance RLC and everything I will take it in resistance mode and I will give in resistance 10 and I have taken one ground so three phase load now this switches will be connecting connected over here in inverter and the output of the inverter will be connected to the load by the voltage current measurement block it will be connected to the load uh, I will make it as a star connection so I will short the other ends and I will connect ground over here now we are ready to see the result here uh, I have taken out this signal that is the sign A sign phase A let us call it sign R R phase so that we can compare it with at uh, a one any one of the gate pulse that it is 150 degree or not We'll run the simulation now. So let us check. So you could see that uh, from here to here till this point from this point to this point it is 360 degree so from here to here it is 180 degree and the gate pulse is lesser than 180 degree here 15 degree is uh, uh, not taken and here also 15 degree is not taken the same thing happens with the 
other get pulse also in positive half cycle this and in negative half cycle this get pulse is not needed in negative half cycle the uh, phase uh, switch 4 get pulse will be appearing you can check it over here so it is in switch 4 magnify this one so in positive up cycle switch 1 get pulse is appearing in negative up cycle switch 4 get pulse will be appearing mm -hmm. so we are perfectly making 150 degree switches and now we will check the line voltage over here line voltage so this is phase R this is phase Y and this is phase P R Y P and let us see. it is absolutely coming as expected you have magnified this one you see that it is touching 600 volt and here also minus 600 volt and there will be more number of steps as expected so in this way you can make 150 degree uh, conduction mode for inverter let me know in the comment section how you like this video and you can give your suggestions so that i could make the next video uh, thank you for now comment below about how you like this video check out the links in the description box about more such videos do click the like button if you like the video if you are new to this channel subscribe tech talks and don't forget to hit the bell icon